on! Oh. Hey, what's up guys? 2020 was a year that's definitely going in the history books. Even though the year was mostly bad, we did have some of the best airsoft moments ever. And right now, we're gonna take a look at the best moments of 2020. But first, let's look at what you guys voted to be the best moments of last year, 2019. Heavy and best equipment in our squad, M132 grenade launcher. RCXD, or remote control explosive device, and we can pilot it using this thing, so we can see exactly. Okay, ready? Yeah, blow, 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 blow. Got you. Blow, 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 blow. Yeah. Hanging out my airsoft predator drone. This is a big long range drone. Underneath we hung a full auto Glock 18C with an extended mag. Did you get him? Yes, he's doing good. Is there? Yeah. And now for the best of 2020, but first let me introduce you to my favorite new World War II strategy game called Warpath. So Warpath is a real-time strategy game depicting some of the history's most famous battles of World War II and it really reminds me of the good old days of Command and Conquer. Most importantly, there's no pay to win. You're either good enough or you're not. My absolute favorite thing is the huge battles with which I would think would just lack the shit out of your phone. But no, the game plays extremely well. Just like I remember playing Command and Conquer on my shitty little PC as a kid. So with these incredible PC-like graphics on your mobile device, actual RTS gameplay, and every map design based on a real terrain, it's a, it's a great pickup for anyone who's into military history games. And of course, you guys can try out the game for free with the link down below, and all my viewers get a nice welcome package to get started playing the game. And whilst also supporting the channel for free. So let me know how you guys like Warpath in the comments below. I'm really Really curious. But right now it's the time to look at the best of 2020. Here we go. We have a speaker in the backpack jamming some harbas. Watch out guys, slippery there. <laughs> that thing is cool as fuck. Brought out our RPG-7 by Swit Airsoft with a warhead that'll explode on impact. CO2 cartridge in the nose cone that is punctured on impact and then emits a huge big smoke cloud. <laughs> reload! <laughs> reload! <laughs> Fuck! My tip! My tip! Get on! Whoa! Okay! <laughs> we got a malfunction! <laughs> oh, that hurts my ears! This is so loud! <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at his ass crack, mate. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Hit. A 
I'm bringing out my real life Wilson. It is an eight kilogram large RC car. It's also got a live camera system mounted on the side of the barrel, which you can use to guide the car, but also aim the gun as the center of the screen will function as a crosshair. Where would it be? <laughs> All right, <laughs> reload. I need to watch my step because I don't know where people can or will hide. <laughs> can we get out there? And go! Can I jump? Jump, 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 jump. I run straight across the area. Yeah. Another one. Oh, thought of double barreled shotgun. Did it go so tight? I got this one. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Ik schiet nog eentje daar binnen zo meteen, dus als je klaar bent. Wow. We're trying out the Krumlauf curved barrel concept. So this concept of a curved barrel was first invented during World War II by the Germans for their STG-44 rifle. Tussen, tussen de komt Ja. <laughs> As you know, they say in Russia, big gun equals more fun. <laughs> Sets completely. Lock the load. Oh yeah. With the juggernaut captured, it will take some heat off of me, but it'll only be a matter of time before the enemy team recaptures him and sends him my way.
Today I'm bringing out my latest addition to my CSGO weapon lineup with the Op Medusa. Even features a working stat track module which works by tapping a button to register a kill. It's a kit that turns the small but accurate pistol into a submachine gun. It fits the SSP-1 or any other high cap of type pistol and brings in massive customizability options from those guns into this submachine gun package. For my playstyle, I chose to go with a massive drum mag and a big old scope to extend the range and firepower massively. There's a massive traffic jam in the tunnels as the enemy team is holding up the tunnel with a few guys and the riot shield with the big light system. Today we're using one of the most realistic and incredibly accurate airsoft guns, the Swit Airsoft MP5. But this thing is a gas-powered, pre-upgraded MP5 made to resemble the real thing as close as possible. Airsoft weapons like these are increasingly often used for military and police training purposes as their function and operation are incredibly close to the bullet firing counterpart. This is buiten terrein. Ik krop. Oh, ja. Dit is buiten terrein. Ik loop hier. Ja. 
Having cleared my way through the ruins, I'm still completely alone. I know this building will come under heavy assault very soon, as one of the major capture points is located right here. Knowing this place very well, I will try to anticipate where the attacks are coming from and keep the capture point locked down. Today we're bringing out a large part of my airsoft arsenal playing 2v2 gunfight rules present in modern warfare. Ready. We're setting up an ambush where we expect them to pop up. Okay, let's go. Heading, stay We have to pick our routes to be able to get close enough to the enemy team using the shotguns as we don't know what their setup is for this round. <laughs> yeah. The house, right? Yeah. <laughs> you shot him? Yeah. Still in the house, you see him? <laughs> Thanks for watching guys, I wish you all a better year in 2021 and don't forget to vote on your favorite clip of this year in the comments below. I will hopefully see you in the next one.